This video is about finding the average and weighted average of a sample using Excel. When we find the average, it's really important to notice how the information is given to you. If it's raw data that's in a column, you're going to use one method. If it's summarized data that's in a table or a chart, you're going to use the weighted average approach. There are a few important things to notice. The first thing to notice is that no matter which method is taken, you're going to get the same answer. So average is average, weighted average is just a methodology to get to the same answer. The second thing to notice is that the information that you see in the table is a summary of what's in column A, your sample in column A. You have a category that's a numeric category and you have a weight to go with it. So when we do this and we calculate it out, we are going to get the same answers. The third thing to notice is that if you take the average of group size from column A, it certainly is not going to equal the average of group size in column D because you're not taking into consideration the weight, which is why they call it the weighted average. So for those of you who are good at calculating, please feel free to just go ahead and use what's on the screen. You, feel, you can hit pause. Otherwise, I'm going to continue forward with examples. So I'm going to delete out the calculations that I did to get there. So to find the average of the raw data, it's literally just that simple. You type equals average, highlight your data range, and you have your average, 4.32 people per group. When we go ahead and do summarized data, we're going to take our value and multiply it by our weight. So equals our value and multiply it by our weight. So 1 times 6 is going to give me 6. Our value and multiply our weight, 2 times 3 is going to give me 6. Because I don't feel like typing all these out, I'm going to go ahead and just highlight down and it'll figure the rest out for me. I can double check it by saying, okay, 8 times 2 is 16, I'm good to go. The next thing we're going to want to do is we want to take the sum of the x times the weights. So we're going to want to take the sum of the x times the weights equals sum of this column equals and then I want the sum of the weights. Remember I said this was my value and this was my weight. So equals sum of my weights. And then you simply divide the two. Equals 216 divided by 50. So in the end we find, come up with 4.32 people per group for both of them. Hope that helps and I'll catch you on the next video.